What is up everybody? It is Wick here and I'm at some yard sales. I hit about 10 sales today. You're coming along with me see what we can find. At this sale I see this vintage Levi washed uh, jacket. These can be good to pick up and uh, I realized it's a child's though. It was only a quarter and I was going to put it back but the guy ended up giving me some stuff so I just, <laughs> I just held on to it because I didn't want to just take this stuff for free. And it's these belt, uh, tool belt holsters here. Um, I was looking at them and they're really beat up. I was thinking about buying them. Uh, one had a hole in it and I decided, you know what? I'm just going to not buy them. And the guy said, Hey, you just want those? I'm like for free. And he said, yeah, just take them if you want them. <laughs> I said, okay, I'm like, I'll get this jacket too. So I paid him a quarter for the jacket. Um, just because I didn't want to just walk out of there with, you know, free stuff like that makes me feel a bit weird sometimes. And, uh, this is the kind of sale you like, right? Um, uh, somebody just wanting to get rid of their stuff. And here's an arcade, Golden Tea, that was already sold. There's a sold sign on it. And we got some board games down here I'm taking a look at. Uh, there's a Candyland. Apparently, there was old Candylands, like from the 60s, are worth money. Even the 80s had no idea. I passed one up in my last garage sale video. I uh, just figured it was one of those very oversaturated games. So something to keep an eye out for. Thanks for everyone who left that in the comments. Angry Birds, we got the Death Star game. Um, in my mind, I'm still thinking this is a $60 game used around Christmas. It is it's come down in price It's only about $30, but for $3. I'll pick it up interesting looking dinosaur for a dollar uh, I think it's like a what is it dino pets or something like that if I remember correctly So I did end up grabbing that and another toy there and even got a good contact here the lady said that they had a bunch of 90s toys uh, that they were gonna go through and sell and uh, even a guy that she knew that she worked with gave them a bunch of 90s toys and she just wanted to get rid of them. So she took my number. Who knows if she'll ever contact me. You know how that goes with yard sales. I've given my number out many times and I've only heard back, I think, once. Uh, kind of crazy how that works. So we're at another sale here and I spot a, uh, a Wii U in the bag. Got the all the accessories. It was 40 bucks. But yeah, you can still make some great profit on Wii U's. At $40, they told me it worked, so hopefully this stuff works. Hopefully this stuff has the pieces. Uh, people tell you that, but sometimes it's just not true. So we're at this sale. There's a lot of craft-like items. There's some video games, some sports games. Hoping to find NCAA uh, 2014 there. Got to take a look at the CDs because there could be a PlayStation game in there. There could even be a Turbo Graphics game. You don't want to miss that. Um, it's happened. I found Turbo Graphics games mixed in with CDs. So we are looking over here now. More craft stuff. Some people left in the comments that I passed a Lisa Frank binder or something. And I've heard of that before. The vintage stuff being worth money. It just, I don't process it. I don't really know what it looks like. So I did some research and a lot of it's just really colorful. Uh, like animals and stickers and books and binders. So hopefully I can start recognizing some of that stuff. It looks like some of the vintage stuff was selling very well. And it could be just hidden at sales like this where they have a bunch of craft stuff and paper stuff. So inside the garage here, not seeing much. Let me know if you see anything, of course. Uh, yeah, so where are we now? Some other sale here. <laughs> and we're looking around. There's a... An airsoft gun, pellet gun over here, I was interested in, but then you see the eBay printout underneath, and that's when you know you're not going to get a good deal. <laughs> People, sales like this where they look up their stuff and they want full eBay price, just not going to be good. And for some reason, my preview footage has went black here, so I can't, oh, there it's back. <laughs> so we got a, a CD player there, that was $6. I'm not going to buy $6 for just a non-Sony uh, CD player. There were some cards there, Cincinnati Reds. They did not seem to be good. I looked at them, looked at them for a bit. They look like they came from a special like set. And again, I don't know much about sports cards. And um, I think he said he wanted $10 for that page. So uh, most sports cards are useless. Could have been something good there. I don't know. Um, I'm not going to pay $10 for it. I'm not going to sit there and try to research it at a yard sale. So we move on and we are at a sale now. This, I guess, um, there's a tackle box there. It has some lures in it. Unfortunately, um, no good lures, a baseball glove. I did end up getting 
But this is uh, apparently a Dayton Dragons baseball player or ex-baseball player. There's some Dayton Dragon stuff over here, a hat. I was looking through the hats and he said, hey, um, those hats are free. If you want one, take one and I'll autograph it. Um, and I said, oh, okay. And then got there was some confusion and I never, <laughs> never had that done. Um, I started seeing stuff I wanted to buy. There was a lot of cool vintage stuff here. And the worst thing is he told me that he had just sold a bunch of Thundercats and He-Man stuff. You see all the Star Wars figures there. Pee-wee's Playhouse. This is amazing. Look at that thing. I wanted it. $150. I tried to make a deal. It was only selling for like $100 on eBay. In some cases, $150. So it was at max price. But I did find some deals here. There's a He-Man extender uh, figure there. It was $10 though. Um, I was like, why did that guy who bought all this stuff leave it? Um, but I got some good deals here. I spent a lot of time at that sale looking up stuff, making sure I didn't miss anything. There's a Batmobile, all kinds of cool stuff. So uh, yeah, I, I did get some. Uh, we are going to make some great money at that sale. Um, and the guy was super nice, super, super nice guy. And um, I wish I would have got his autograph and learned his name <laughs> instead of just walking away and getting in the car and being like, oh, yeah, I meant to went to ask that guy. Anyway, a puzzle for a dollar sealed. I'm picking that up. You know me and puzzles. Anything sealed like that in good enough condition for a dollar is going to be worth picking up. Same with these pop figures. I find that when they're only a dollar like these, you can usually make money on them. Some of them don't move too well, uh, but yeah, for a dollar a piece, you know, I'm just going to grab them because I've done that at sales before and I found some that are $50, $60, some that are only $15. Also picked up the Teen Wolf DVDs there. The set it was only $2. Uh, we got a car for sale. We got luggage. And I remember years ago, probably 10 years ago, when I started going to sales looking for games. And uh, I started seeing luggage for like a dollar like that. I picked up some. I'm like, I can flip this on Craigslist for like 10 bucks. Yeah, no one wants to buy that luggage for $10 on uh, Craigslist. At least not the stuff I was selling. So <laughs> I guess everyone has to learn. Uh, making bad buying decisions um, early on it happens we got some calculators there none of these were really worth picking up pencil sharpener I've, I've picked up pencil sharpeners before but a lot of them just don't move i got one new in the box that hasn't moved i pick a, picked up at a rubbish sale like a year and a half ago so here i am knocking over pictures <laughs> trying not to break anything there's a lot of knickknacks at this sale so if you see anything you know, not my speciality is the, the knick-knack areas. There could be little figurines or something worth money. Try to spot some Pyrex or some vintage dishes with cool patterns, stuff like that. But I'm not really seeing much. And there's a lot of people over there. So it's just like, eh, I think I'll just, you know, move on to the next sale. Not really seeing much. And uh, the next sale is pretty good for me, I think. Uh, we are looking around and got some knives here, which they just look like the, the Chinese, like wholesale type knives. Um, didn't see anything with a name, anything worthwhile in there. And we're moving along. What do we got here? We got a little air conditioner thing down there. I actually have that exact same one I need to get rid of. Uh, I need to have a yard sale or something. I just don't want to throw it away. And yeah, a bunch of DVDs and I did find a DVD collection underneath that tote. Uh, I just lifted it up. There's a bunch of X-Files seasons, which I got. Going to make some great profit on those. Here's a guy over here. He's trying to buy stuff off the wall. Hangs. Signs hanging on the wall. Um, I mentioned this, in, I think, in the last video. Uh, if you see stuff just hanging or sitting around that's not for sale and you want to buy it, ask. She's not selling it, though. She keeps denying them. Uh, yeah, you know, if I looked and I saw a tote of video games on a shelf in the garage, I would be negotiating hard to get that stuff. So I get it. Um, you know, signs and stuff like that I do want, but probably not enough to try to get them off the garage. Unless I recognize it being a great sign. Uh, that was like a no parking sign. So we are at another sale here. I'm actually trying to get this video recorded and edited. So... I can get to a rummage sale is starting soon. <laughs> uh, won't be in this video, but yeah, there's a rummage sale starting. Pretty excited about that. Of course, I'll be recording some footage there. There's a Barney uh, T.Y. Beanie Baby. If that was just a Barney plush vintage, I might have picked it up. 
for some reason this like the the beanie baby stuff just makes it go down in value usually uh maybe it's worth picking up uh more beanie baby stuff it's just i've never found a beanie baby that's really worth um my time and then there definitely is some <laughs> uh just let me know if there was anything good you saw bit of toys we like to dig through these because you never know fortunately a lot of these toys look newer not really what i want but i did pick up something here a little power rangers figure it had the date 95 on it so i knew it was vintage you know yeah i'm gonna pick that up uh but yeah that's it for the sales let me show you what i did find today awesome stuff so let me show you what i picked up today at the yard sales i got some pretty decent stuff i think uh, let's just start right here with this toy that I picked up for 75 cents. I thought it was interesting. I did not know what it was from. Kind of opens up and grabs stuff and pulls it inside. At first I thought, oh, this is an, an alien toy. I'm like, no, it's not from aliens, I don't think. But I used Google Lens. I did searches. It had Mattel 2010 on the bottom. Try searching Mattel 2010 alien, 2010 monster. All, all I got was like monster high stuff. So, yeah, I just went ahead and put a message on Instagram and somebody let me know this is Parallax from Green Lantern. Never watched that movie because I heard it was terrible and I uh, just avoided it. So maybe if I would have watched it, I would have knew. I just know I grab stuff at yard sales when I don't know what it is because, you know, it could be something good. I got another toy here. This is a dinosaur, also a Mattel toy. Uh, I think it's like Dino Pets or something. Uh, this is this is worth about $20. It was only a dollar. I went ahead and grabbed that. More importantly though, the, the lady at this sale said she had a bunch of 90s toys and somebody that had a 90s toy collection gave them a bunch of stuff. She took my number. She's supposed to go get them out of the basement or whatever and <laughs> take some pictures and send me them. You know how that goes, especially with video games. They usually never contact you. So right here, I got this puzzle for a dollar. It's brand new sealed Christmas puzzle. Probably make about $10 on that in the end. And we got one of these Logitech Extreme 3D Pro joysticks. It was only a dollar. So I grabbed that. Well, they're selling for about $40 some dollars used on Amazon right now. So it's a pretty good pickup. I actually have four or five of these in a tote upstairs. Underneath this, I picked up this uh, Jenga Death Star Angry Birds game. And this is went down in values over the last couple months. Around Christmas, you can sell this for about $60 on Amazon. Right now, it's selling for about $30 on Amazon. So it's still money. She told me all the pieces should be there. <laughs> I went ahead and just grabbed it. Back there, we got that little pink ranger. Found that in a box of toys for 50 cents. Saw it was from 95. Uh, just went ahead and bought it. I think it was a quarter. And it's worth about $10 I saw one sell for. I have a bin of like little vintage type toys that I buy. I'm just going to throw it in there for now. I probably won't worry about listing it. Right there, we got a Stephen King book. Uh, paperback, pick that up and I'll just lot them together. I got a bunch of Stephen King paperbacks. I'll do a lot and make some money. Picked up a Wii U. Haven't seen one of these in the wild in a very long time. It's actually in pretty good condition. It's got some junk here on the screen, but that'll wipe off. Got it home and plugged it in and it had a Lego game in it, just like every other Wii I've ever bought in my lifetime. It just seems like 99% of them have a Lego game in them, which is good because I'm going to sell this on eBay and we can lot that game in there. That will help it sell. I think it's selling for about like $150, $180, something like that. Right now, I wasn't sure of the price that they were selling for. Paid $40 for it. So in the end, I should make right around $100. It's got all the, the cables and all the goods in there, the sensor bar, all that good stuff. I went to a sale and apparently it was a Dayton Dragons uh, baseball player or ex-baseball player. Because he mentioned to me when I was looking at some hats, they were Dayton Dragons hats. So he said I could just have one and he would sign it. And I was going to ask him, oh, did you play for Dayton Dragons? And then uh, somebody was talking and confusion happened. I just never asked again. So I don't know for sure what was going on there. I'm just going to assume that. A lot of vintage toys, most of them were priced either too high or right at eBay prices. The worst thing is he told me that he sold a bunch of Thundercats um, and He-Man stuff. It was very painful. There was a, a Pee Wee Herman, Pee Wee's Playhouse set there that I wanted, but it was priced at $150. So yeah, um, had to leave that because they were only selling for like $100 on eBay. But we got Extendar from He-Man, 1986. I paid $10 for him. I don't know why this was left. I asked, I said, why didn't the guy buy this as well? 
I'm assuming just because it was $10 for whatever reason, he just didn't want to pay that. You know, they do sell between $20 and $30, uh, around $40 if they have the accessories, but it's very clean and it almost doesn't even look like it's the 86 version. I'm not super familiar with He-Man toys. I buy them when I see them and I have quite a few. Uh, actually, when I was a kid, I had like all of them. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. I guess it's legit from 1986. $10 though, I'll at least double my money I think on that. Below it though, this is kind of nice. A Glow Friends collector's case, like 85 or something like that, I believe it is. Yeah, he had the dates on there. Uh, very clean. No Glow Friends in there, unfortunately, but it still looked like you know, I might be able to sell this for about $25, $30. There's some selling with like one or two glow friends in the 60s. The container in there that kind of separates them, the like plastic container, is just in absolutely mint condition. So I will price this up because somebody's going to want the, the quality of this case. Like everything is just really clean. You just don't see stuff like this very often in this condition. I also got this baseball glove at that house. Uh, I'm assuming maybe because he's a baseball player for Dayton Dragons or was. Uh, $2, but I got it for free. I said, hey, I'll take this glove as well. And the woman's just like, just have it. You can have it. I said, thank you. This glove will sell for $30 plus shipping. No problem. Went ahead and picked up these New Balance shoes. Uh, the lady said they were her mother's and she didn't like them. <laughs> so she wore them like once. Uh, yeah, they'll sell for like th 30 bucks plus shipping. It was looking like I paid a dollar. We picked up a couple of electronics here. This bag to box VCR. It was a uh, dollar. So was the combo unit, also a dollar. No remotes, unfortunately, but I think I've sold this model on eBay. That's where I'll sell these. I should be able to sell that Sharp for $50, $60, and uh, the Toshiba for about $50 or $60. So I'll probably make about $100 on these in the end. Right here, we got this Samsung digital camera. In the end, I hope to make at least $30 on it. But this one right here actually is much better. It is a uh, Panasonic uh, Palm Quarter VHSC. See the model number there. This is selling at about 120 if I remember right, with the charger and all paperwork and all that stuff. Paid $10 for that one as well. Right back here, we got a crock pot. I picked up one of these at Goodwill not long ago and decided to keep it. Uh, this one, I'm going to flip. It seems like they were selling for like $25 to $35, something like that. I paid three dollars for that here's something i probably shouldn't have bought it's just a play school like vintage little writer for a kid it was only a dollar and i didn't look it up i just said hey it's got to be worth a dollar if i had an antique booth or something like that of course this would be worth picking up selling online one did sell for thirty dollars plus shipping so you know it's not like a bad pickup or anything it's just i have so much to deal with i don't know if i really need to be dealing with something this big and awkward and who knows how long it will sit there was only one comp for it but right here some good pickups we got this teen wolf dvd set uh seasons one through four for two dollars look like these are selling for seems like i could sell them for 30 maybe it was 40 i'm, I'm pretty sure it was 29.99 what they sold for but the x files here got all of these for a dollar a piece seasons one through nine here um selling of over 100 i think around 120 dollars these right here are sealed uh, these are some special sets or something and it looked like these are probably just a lot all three of these together and be able to sell these for about $40 it was looking like. Then we got three other DVDs not really worth it I'll probably just lot them with this set uh, just throw them in there. But yeah very nice pickup here make some great profit on that. And then down here I just I picked up this jacket because it was a quarter I noticed it was uh, a girl's a youth size and I was going to put it back. I was looking at these leather tool holders here and I'm like, ah, oh, they're a bit too beat up for me and they're not looking that great. One had a hole in it and the guy's just like, if you want those, just take them. I said for free and he said, sure, take them. And I just went ahead and paid a quarter for that jacket because you know what? He was giving me all those. I didn't want to just put the jacket back. I don't know. It's a vintage uh, washed Levi jacket. You know, I've sold jackets like this, men's and women's um adult sizes for like 40 50 dollars size 18 i don't know what that equates to maybe like a small women's or petite i don't know i don't know women's sizes but again i only i paid a quarter for everything on the floor these said electric pal was the brand on one of them uh the others i couldn't really see very well so i don't know i'm probably just gonna lot them all together on ebay 
maybe do an auction or something. I just sold some Sears vintage tool holsters like this. Um, got like $30 a piece for them. There it is, everybody. That's the haul for today. I think we made some good money. I'm going to guess without actually adding it up, it's going to be over $400. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button for me. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, flipping underscore junk. And this has been Wick. Till next time.